What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Marvel Legends figure review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Series 6 Red Hulk series. This is the black costume Spider-Man. Uh, this figure did come with the left arm of Red Hulk. This and uh, it was this figure is uh, made by Hasbro. I did pick up this figure loose. I picked it up from my buddy Josh at Frank and Sons for ten bucks. Uh, let's see here. The other figures from this series include the Wolverine. Um, let's see Wolverine, Adam Warlock. Union Jack, Silver Savage, and Spiral. So those are the figures that uh, complete this wave. And then you know, once you get all the figures, you can have yourself a Red Hulk, which is a great Build-A-Figure. Um, now, looking at this Spider-Man here, it's falling over. This is actually a really, really nice Spider-Man. But you know what's funny? Before I get into the figure, I mean, this is this is just like probably the best Black Spider-Man there is, but in my opinion. But um, after having like the uh, the new the Return of Marvel Legends and having the Big Time Spider Man, which I like and a lot of people don't like, but um, the Future Foundation one is probably my favorite Spider Man figure there is. There you go again. But um, yeah, this 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 Spider Man is is awesome as well. Uh, you can see he's got his uh, Spider logo right there, the big old Spider logo, which is really nice. If you guys want to get a close look at that, very very nice. You can see. Uh, the detail and the muscle. So this is just a really, really nice figure. Uh, the back, he's got, he's got it as well. Awesome. He's got that shoulder um, articulation that allows him, allows him to go forward here. So you can see, it goes forward and back right here. So you can see the more of the spider um, this logo there, which is really cool. Very, very nice. It goes down all the way, you know, to the side. Uh, there is no uh, finger articulation at all on this guy, but he either way he's still a great figure. Get a close up on the head sculpt, which is very nice. Got the big old white eyes. Look at the legs. Now he is black with like a like a bit of a blue on certain parts of this guy's um, costume. You can see he's got blue shading here. It's mainly noticeable in the lower area and the lower legs. I mean, he's got a little bit of blue in the in the head sculpt. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. It's got a bit on the arms, but he is just a great, great figure. I've been wanting him for so long. I just was never able to uh, find him. And in package, he can be a little pricey, but ten bucks loose, and I already have the Red Hulk build a figure, so. Really, really nice. Um, in the way of this Spider-Man's articulation, the head can go up and down, can rotate side to side, it can go up and down pretty far. Down, not so much, but it can go back pretty far. Um, arms go in and out, you can have to have a rotation, you can bend at the elbow, which is double jointed. Uh, he has like a forearm swivel here. The uh, hand can go in and out, you can also rotate. Um, like I said, he does have that uh, shoulder articulation here. You've got a nice ab crunch where you can go down far. Also go back, uh, not, not, you can't go back too far, but you can go forward pretty good. Arms go in and out. Uh, rotates at the waist. Legs go in and out. You can go forward. Double jointed knees. Rotation in the leg. Rotation in the lower leg. The foot also can rotate and go up and down. It goes, it goes pretty far. You can see that it goes down pretty far. No ankle rockers on this guy, but he is a nice, nice figure. Great, great figure. He's pretty slim too, which is cool. Not too muscular. A fantastic figure. What I want to do is um, do a little comparison on the uh, other two Spider-Mans that I own that that um, are the black costume. So let's uh, take a quick little break and we'll bring all three of them out. So here we have the three uh, Spider-Mans that I own that are black costume. The one on the left is the Spider-Man Classics um, black costume Spider-Man, which is made by uh, Toy Biz. The one in the middle is the Marvel Legends Red Hulk series, the one we're looking at today. This, that's the Hasbro version. And the one on the right is another Hasbro version of the um, black costume Spider-Man, but that, that's released like after... That's the ones that's like in stores now. Um, 
that you can find like at Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us, which lacks articulation, but is actually a great sculpt. So if you can see on the three which one is better, I really don't know. I mean, the, the Toy Biz um, Spider-Man Classics, the one on the left, they did re-release him in Spider-Man Origins with the metallic version, but I actually do like this one. I, uh, I, I prefer this one a lot better, and this one has a lot better articulation. I mean, it is by Toy Biz, so he does have the finger articulation and stuff, and he does also have a little bit of shades of blue on him, which is nice. Not much detail as far as like mus like muscularity goes. The um, these two have a lot more detail and muscle, but this one is actually a really really nice Spider-Man. You can see there. I did reviews on all these already too, so in case you want to see them. So that's that's the uh, Toy Biz uh, Spider-Man Classics one. Again, this is the Marvel Legends Hasbro version of the with the Red Hulk series, the one we're looking at today. And this is the um, one I, I, re I reviewed this one not too long ago. This is the Hasbro uh, Spider-Man line, um, Black Costume Spider-Man. You can see the differences in them. Um, which one do I think is the the better of the three? I mean, they all are good in their own ways. I mean, the Toy Biz version here has a lot of articulation, and um, you can get him in a lot of good poses. He's a lot slimmer. <clears throat> The Marvel Legends Hasbro version of the Red Hulk series is nice. It's got it's got cool articulation, not as good as the Toy Biz one, but it's got good articulation and he's a bit more muscular. Um, the Hasbro one is just pretty much a good sculpt, and I like the paint detail on him. But articulation on this one isn't good. If it had the articulation, I think this figure would be very very uh, well done. I mean, there's there's um, he doesn't have a waist articul like waist uh rotation he just has upper torso articulation but I'd have to give it to um, in my opinion I'd have to give it to the Toy Biz version that I like the best but either way this one is nice the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Red Hulk series but if I had a pick of the three it'd be the Toy Biz now we're getting off subject here because we're trying to look at we're focusing on this Spider-Man right here the Black Costume Marvel Legends Hulk series but I just wanted to do a comparison of the three to you know, let you guys know what I think is my favorite Black Costume Spider-Man. Either way, this one is awesome. Like if I had to rate this one on a one to ten, I'd give him a good, uh, I don't know, like a seven point five, which is pretty good. Um, stay tuned, also, guys, because I'm going to be doing my top five Spider-Man figures that I own. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, this is Seho Man. Hope you enjoyed my review today. We were looking at the Marvel Legends Series Six. Red Hulk series Spider-Man. This is the Black Costume Spider-Man by Hasbro. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. We'll see you guys later.